Do they see what to do with the equipment? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what? You never know who's touching. <laughs> 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 That's all that matters. Yeah. 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 All right. We're here with the Regis University Rangers after winning today's NCAA Region Championship. We're joined by head coach Sarah Kellner, along with Jada Bonner, a senior, and Sarah Myers, a junior. Uh, guys, first off, congratulations. And before we get to questions for the student athletes uh, and coach, coach, if you want to give your uh, opening statement. Regis Lindenwood, I knew it was going to be a battle from the opening draw to the very final whistle. I couldn't have predicted overtime, um, but I'm happy we got there. Um, first half, we dug ourselves a hole. Um, and I couldn't be prouder of the effort that they put in the second half to chip away at the scoreboard and to just stay present in the moment and continue to fight and believe. Um, Huge credit to Lindenwood. You know, we went up by two. We didn't take care of the ball. We needed a couple insurance possessions, and and they capitalized. I mean, they scored with I think two goals in a minute, less than a minute and a half, um, to go into overtime. And you know, continued to battle throughout overtime, back and forth. We each got a couple shots off. Both of us used our timeouts. Um, it was a great game. All right. First, uh, we'll have questions for the student athletes. Sarah, four goals. Nine shots, seven on goal, two assists. What are we feeling today? Just talk about what your atmosphere was out on the field. You know, honestly, it was just something where we wanted to go out uh, no matter what happened and play team offense and make sacrificial cuts and, you know, drive and dish it and do what was best for the ball. So even though it happened to be me that scored, it could have been anyone. Um, we just played team offense, and that's really what got us there on selfish play. Jada, you get the game-winning goal on double OT. Tell me about your emotions during that moment. Uh, my my teammates give me confidence to take those shots. Um, I owe it all to them. As a senior, how big is this win in your mind? And obviously, you guys are not done, but going to the next level to get a big win against undefeated London. Uh, I think it's all about the program. It's all about uh, what I'm leaving behind. Um, and I think that we're doing a really good job of building on a beautiful tradition of excellence, as we like to call it. So. Uh, having faced Lindenwood two times in the regular, I guess, in the regular season and our MAC championship, can you talk about what you guys were thinking going into today's game, getting a third look at them? Is that you for any of us? You go. Players. Oh, players, they would like. Um, I think that we had a familiar opponent, um, so that was beneficial. Um, I don't think that we were like out for revenge or anything. Uh, I think we just. We had the confidence uh, to play our very best game today. Uh, so I think that our confidence was really what, what got us to win. Yeah, it was a gritty battle. And it went into double overtime. And it's not to say it wasn't a um, game without mistakes, but we fought through it and ended up on our side. It's for both of you guys, too. So obviously, as Coach said, a slow start. You guys go down 5 nothing. Whenever you guys had the timeout, what was the feeling like with the team? What was said in that huddle to get you guys going? You know, just being a family and knowing we have each other's backs and to chip away at the scoreboard. And it wasn't going to be perfect, and maybe they were going to score back and forth, but we were going to come back into the game and give them a fight, and we were going to show them what Regis Lacrosse was. All about uh, positivity, uh, never being down on one another, uh, all about building each other up to make those plays, take those risks. Guys, yesterday, second half, shutout. Today, second half, 10 goals. What kind of halftime speeches do you guys get in the locker room? You know, I think from last year we had games where, and from the beginning of the season where we didn't follow through on our second half, and that's been a big goal for us, is to be the team that we are, you know, all the way through the game. And I think we can't let up, and we have to realize we're facing the best teams in the country right now. Um, and we have to stay gritty, and we have to win that draw and get those goals like it's our last chance. Uh, I'd like to add that Ali Vanek and Katie Schimler have been our rocks um, through everything. Uh, they were injured, and so they're out for the season, obviously. Um, and they really remind us of uh, how special the moments that we have are on the field. 
uh, even if we're not a senior, whatever the case is, and they remind us not to take these moments for granted. So We realize that these wins are a lot bigger than our team for a lot of other people than us. Well, yeah. That's it. All right, move on to questions for Coach. Coach, uh, obviously we mentioned you guys going on this huge run after being down as much as by 7, 92. You guys rattled off nine straight goals. I mean, what was the feeling like, the coaching staff? Obviously, you guys believed all the way through. We saw yesterday the fight to the very end, even when you guys were up by a lot. But down by a lot, you could see that same fight. Tell me about uh, how proud you are of this team to keep fighting throughout. Well, again, couldn't be more proud. I think as a coaching staff, we know the ability of our players. We see it every day. Um, and, but it's about them believing it in themselves and each other. Um, it is extremely difficult to play this back-to-back -back at this high level. Um, there was exhaustion, there was fatigue, there was doubt creeping in, if I'm being honest. Um, and then there was a switch, and I think it's what these girls said. It was about family, it's about taking care of the girl next to you and doing it for them and not for ourselves. Coach, we've touched on the senior leadership on this team, but can you talk again about the maturity of Ellie Crawford and goal and just how big she was this weekend? Ellie Crawford. <laughs> is a goofball, <laughs> um, but she is so poised and confident and collected and and she just plays big. Um, she has a huge heart, she cares so much about this program um, and we truly have a unit of goalies. I have four goalies on this small roster and they support each other, they push each other every day. She would not be the goalie she was today without the other three behind her. Sarah, you're advancing to your first Final Four in program history. Can you just talk about what that means to you, the program, um, and just to Regis in general, uh, from where you took the program over um, when you started? This is my 12th season at the helm of Regis Lacrosse. Um, we talk a lot about the history of the program and the, the women and, that have come before, the girls that are, get to play today. Um, and it wasn't always pretty, they didn't always win, but they did the right thing when it mattered and they worked really hard and they left their legacy behind them for the teams coming after them. And that's something that we want to just instill in all of our people coming in. Um, so Sarah said it, but it wasn't just about us, it was a lot of people got us here. Coach, uh, going to next week, you guys obviously want to enjoy this one, a big one for you guys, but still some work to do going next week to the Final Four. Um, do you have any idea what kind of preparation you guys have? Probably the same stuff? Or? I don't even know who we're playing. You want to help me? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. it is. Uh, she wants to have Florida Southern. Florida just crashed. They're not in Max Lemoyne, but I can't be sure. Yes, it's okay. Yes, it is. The okay. Yes. I was hoping you were going to say Lemoyne. <laughs> <laughs> we had three regular season losses one was to Indy, one was to Linda Wood, and one was to Lemoyne. And we are very happy to be seeing them again. Coach, you had a great fan turnout for this weekend. Is there something you want to say back home to all the Rangers fans that followed this game today? Oh, Ranger Nation, you guys <laughs> rock! <laughs> um, I was trying to wave to the cameras. I know there's so many people at home that wish they could be there, whether the Regis alums, their family, their friends. Um, I know they're extremely proud of the effort that was put on the field today. Yes. All right, guys, thank you. That'll complete today's press conference. Good luck next week. Thank you. Thank you. Is it really the point? Yep, <laughs> it is. Can you cut that out?